talking about these. Appreciate it. Uh, it's just a business that uh, I'm starting up, a uh, personal business, just uh, whether it be like, you know, youth, useful, any like camps, anything I hold, you know, stuff like that, just little stuff like that. I haven't even really put it out there yet. Like nothing even happened for real. <laughs> so you just did cleats for it? Yeah, nothing, nothing even happened. This is really like the first thing ever for is just these cleats, just something to spark something up. <laughs> you have a website? No website, no nothing. So people are going to be like looking at this exactly. and like, what the hell is this? Exactly. What do you hope for it to be? Hope for it to be um, something that, you know, go on forever, just a platform for myself that can, go, that can go on forever. Like I said, it could be, whether it just be for like clothing brands, stuff like that, and uh, just a name I can use to, you know, build my legacy for the fam, my, my youngest son, you know, stuff like that. So, I was going to say, do you have a plan or are you just kind of like, yeah, you got. I gotta have a plan. Like I said, it ain't it ain't all put together right yeah. now, but it's definitely gonna build. So, just a start. When you look at, the, well, I'm not sure if you have, but when you look at the player you were the first time you played the Buccaneers versus the player you are now, do you see a difference there? Is there a difference in the game during the process or anything like that? Uh, there is a difference. You know, for for myself, it'll just be uh, the difference is we got. 10 games, 11 games under our belt now. So uh, just experience, more knowledge of the game, more film that, that we can watch and just to be p prepared for the game. Uh, the, you know, the whole key to preparation is being a step ahead. So I feel like going into this week, definitely uh, as a whole for the defense, we, we should be more uh, familiar with everything and uh, just be able to play faster and expect things quicker. You know what I mean? I know, I know we talked about this a few weeks back, but the foundation that Mike built at Clemson and Bill Washington, like how much do you feel like that's helped this ascent? This year? Yeah, like how, how much do you feel like that face – Five years ago. Just by watching film, you said? Well, you know, I guess what you learned from him and started to learn from him about how much, how has that helped you now, or has it? Helped you? I feel like that's where the foundation started. Yeah, uh, it, it helped me a lot, you know, the preparation for games, uh, him just pouring into us, uh, being there about taking care of your bodies, all that type of stuff. It definitely, you know, helped me from where I am right now. Where do you think? And what? Like in how you prep and how you prepare and what you're seeing and what you're doing. Yeah, uh, just watching more and more film. That's really what it is. And definitely uh, this year taking care of my body more. So, you know, feeling brand new, being able to play fast. I know when you were drafted, a lot of people, especially college fans, were talking about you. They were kind of questionable because of the game versus LSU. But you're at where you're at now. How did you just handle all of that coming into, you know, where you are now? Uh, Short-term memory, you know, everybody got an opinion. You know, play good, they love you. Play bad, they don't. So uh, that's how I've been, you know, forever. Like, just being young all the way up. Uh, it's, you never did good enough. So just got to keep, you know, keep a chip on your shoulder and just keep, keep it pushing. Stack days. And I know the coaches, including yourself, I always talk about, your maturity on how you prep for games, how you always watch film and everything. Did that just come from you just wanting to be there, or was it more so like mentorship or anything? Uh, it started with mentorship, uh, and then of course you gotta want want better for yourself. Um, can't nobody make you do anything, so just being prepared. Uh, you can never be overly prepared, you know. So just being prepared for uh, for games is always a plus and an advantage on me for me. What do you feel like? I guess, what do you feel like is different for you or where you got better at this year so far? Uh, I just say all around, just being being locked in and uh, honing in on what everybody got to do around me to allow me to play faster. Just, uh, like I said, the preparation and then just taking care of the body, 
and uh, just coming in, locking in, and practice. Uh, so I used to, used to then really, uh, go in the treatment room often, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really go in there unless something was hurting. But now, just, uh, just knowing that, you know, I go in there, get in the ice tub, hot tub, use the Theragun. Yeah, prevent injuries, prehabbing, not rehabbing. All right, prehabbing. So that's really like the main thing, just... Just going in, even when I don't feel like doing anything, just going in and doing something to make you feel good. You think prehabbing has been a key to your season? Yeah, definitely. I feel going in late in the season right now, my body still feel fresh. Hey, um, what advice do you have for, for Darren and Richie? You know, for who? Uh, Darren, Paul, oh. and, uh, and Richie, you know, they're rookies. They're just a year behind you. Right. And they're getting a lot of action now. Um, well, what advice do you have for them? Uh, no, I pour in them to just play free. Don't think too much, you know. Don't, uh, you prepare for the game, you feel me? Just go out there and trust what you got to do and play football. At the end of the day, it's just football. So, you know, I always tell them just go in there and just play football. Don't think too much and uh, take care of their body. You know, last year, I, uh, I was, I was doing it, but I, I also wasn't to an extent where now that's that's what I'm doing. Like I'm keying in on taking care of my body and I'm telling them going into the off season this year and you know anything like that to uh main thing they need to do, you know, is take care of their body. All right. Yeah, definitely. I'm vocal to an extent for the guys. Uh, they know whatever I say it mean, you know, it's meaning something. They don't, uh, like I said, in order to uh, lead by example, you gotta do, go out there and do the things that you're talking about. So, you know, by my actions, they go out there and they, uh, they, they, they know where I come from when I say something. So, everybody take it to heart and you know, go out there and perform. No, nah, Ace Trilogy. Ace Trilogy. Yeah. Definitely giving back, yep. Is that something you plan to do more throughout your career? Is that definitely. Uh, like I said, I, ain't, I haven't really got the ball rolling, but that's definitely what I plan on doing. So uh, whether it be, it's definitely got to be next year. This year almost over with. So get the ball rolling, um, get the website up, get all that type of stuff going so everything can be straight.